Hi everyone, my name is Joshua Easterly and I'm here today to talk to you about crystals um, and their benefits to us besides being fashionable pieces that we wear in jewelry and stuff like that. Uh, crystals to me have a lot of meaning and power within them. Um, they are a high vibrational solid source, well solid in the sense of pure quantum physics is they're not, nothing is solid to them, um, but the vibration and frequency of said crystals they vibrate at such a high rate, and especially quartz, I can't remember the exact number, but it's incredible at the amount of uh, seconds and pulsations they're having within them being such a solid, seemingly solid piece of material or matter. And the energies and the, the benefits that each crystal brings to you each have their own unique benefits and ben traits that they can help bring out to you. But some, you know, you'll naturally be inclined to go to or naturally be inclined to like or pick up or use or buy when you go to a store, go online or whatever. Um, maybe it's the color or the sheen or the sparkle or the clarity or maybe it's none of those things. Maybe like stones that you can't see through at all, like a, a jasper um, of sorts. And then there's a plethora of ways you can order or have or buy these things. Some are geodes and some are solid structures. Some are cut to be certain shapes like hearts and angels, crystals, skulls, you might have heard of, heard of um, like the ancient ones they found in Maya City. So, but for me, I like them in uh, any way I get them. If they're given to me, as I like to give a lot of crystals out, I, I receive a lot of crystals as well um, back. That's just the law of the universe. So the one I'm holding now, this is a, a Girasol opal, and it is in the quartz family. Opal is kind of uh, misleading term but uh, as you can see it's clearly more of a quartz and it is in the quartz family and girasol opal is a very nice soothing stone it gets its name because it has a sheen shimmer on it I can't remember the exact technical term for it but it has that iridescent sheen when certain lights hit it hit it, like gives you a different color um, a different way so you have fire opals and these really deep beautiful opals a lot that come from Australia um, but this is nothing like that. This comes from Madagascar, and it has many, many benefits to the user. It is when you hold it, its vibration or its feeling and sensation it gives is smooth. It's very lightweight, which is misleading from being a normal, typical quartz. So um, it's lightweight, and it's very soothing, calming, and it helps aid in the third eye and the upper chakras. For me, I say that because it's a clear stone. Um, and the lighter, clear stones, to me, also associate with the higher vibrational chakras, which are your lower ones. Um, typically, you use more solid colors, uh, like the jasper family, red jasper or carnelian, anything that's not lustrous and see-through or reflective um, in nature or prismatic. But um, you can look up the many benefits of Curacao Opal. I list some below in this video. This video, I just wanted to talk about all crystals and just the general sense of how powerful crystals can be and how much they can impact and change your life. This one here is Blue Avatite. It's also from Madagascar. I just ordered this collection in bulk off of Amazon.com and um, it costs fairly inexpensive to get these, but it's just a mix of rough, un, um, lapid, not, they're not lapidary, they didn't go through any of that or tumble to nothing, just raw in its true form, right out of the mine. They send them in a pound. It got here really quick and all these different fun things I have to work with now, all coming from Madagascar, except for in Keen, um, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, it's also the Dragonstone. There is Honey Calcite, Argonite, and then um, Shell Rock, or the Sheet Rock, whatever it's called. It's very old, very, very, very old, it takes a lot of time to make this, and the word uh, where they got the name for it, I believe it's Sepertine, it means seven in Latin because it tends to the the orange are like uh, argonite in it tends to make points at seven. So I also have fluorite. This <laughs> didn't come in that Madagascar batch I just got. It's similar. It's a little bit looks like it's cut, but it's not. It's still a rough piece of fluorite. Fluorite's an amazing stone for the third eye and top chakras. This one's green fluorite, so it's going to help a lot with your heart chakra. And to me, the heart chakra is one of my troubled places. <laughs> I get a lot of buildup in there. So this definitely helps a lot. Um, it also helps against 
psychic in, invasions and intrusive thoughts helps you keep your clear mind, focused mind, um, as well as this one, the dragon stone, very protective stone. Um, so go ahead and look online and see what you might be attracted to. Maybe some of your lady or man even, sometimes more so than often ladies have more, but what gemstones do you wear normally? What's your birth gemstone? Um, what are the ones assigned to your, your zodiac signs, your Chinese signs? Start looking into them if you don't know already. Um, turquoise was a place to start out for me and clear quartz, and it just grew from there. So even petrified wood for some of you. Some of you may already have a rock collection you've started. Go ahead and start, why not look up the metaphysical benefits and see maybe there's some relations that to what you didn't put together before, but why you chose that particular crystal or stone, mineral in the first place. Um, and then once you know a little bit more about it, then maybe it's helped me and most people I come into contact with and speak about it, connect with their stones and crystals a lot more deeply. And then they use them more on a meditative healing process as a tool, um, almost like a, a type of natural medication. Um, I used to use a stone. It has, uh, I cannot think of it right now, lithium in it. And um, it's lapidia light or something to that that sort, lapetalite, and it had lithium in it naturally. And when I was a teenager going through puberty, it was definitely a hard time in my life. And that stone I would hold, and it actually it would help a lot. And I'm not sure if that's because the osmosis of lithium through my system or not, but definitely could have been a, a possibility. But that's more of a physical, chemical reaction you can kind of trace, whereas other stones necessarily, it's a vibrational, energetic healing and process that occurs to you. There's many ways to use crystals too. I use them all sorts of ways. I carry them in my pocket. I put them in my bags. I put them when I travel. They go in my car. They go everywhere. I set up crystal grids everywhere. My house, around my house, inside the house, on pictures, around the outside. I'm a crystal advocate. I definitely am probably more of a fanatic, I guess you could say, but I truly believe in the power of healing, whether it is psychosomatic or not. I have definitely had an improved state of being and consciousness by acquiring and bringing and using crystals in my life. I hope that they do the same for you. Leave comments below and let me know what you think. Bye.